Uh, six kilo uh, gold refinery. This is, uh, this is the switch for the light. Uh, this is the main on off. This is heater. Uh, this is for the exhaust system. Uh, current motor. React, uh, reaction motor. Suction point. Uh, suction point and then temperature controller. And the reaction. Uh, first you start the section point from here and as you can uh, see at the side of the uh, uh, machine uh, this is a caustic, uh, you have to fill a caustic soda there and uh, uh, caustic soda is get, uh, getting filled in the first uh, container uh, through this uh, motor uh, you, have to, you have to get it till the uh, upper marker given as you will be able to see. You need to get it up till the upper marker. Bubble yeah, the bubble reaction will stay on like this. Uh, uh, this is where you pour the uh, your dust or the raw material that you want to refine through here. This is the main reactor uh, kettle. Uh, this is for three kilo, and on the other side there is another one which is for three uh, three kilo. Uh, fill this jar with urea, and fill the this jar with the nit uh, nitric acid. And after you pour in the dust or the particle, you pour in the HCl through the same through the same uh, hole. You pour the metal and the HCl, then you turn on the reactor by pressing this la reaction by pressing the last switch, and uh, the regulator uh, to control the speed. As you can see, uh, the react uh, it will do the continuous stirring like this, and uh, this. Uh, slowly uh, uh, open the open the connection for the nitric and the nitric uh, will uh, automatically uh, get mixed uh, uh, slowly then you turn on the turn on the heater which, which switch is given here and that also it's a uh, uh, adjustment regulator is given uh, uh, this process uh, will take about one and a half hours while it's getting done it will be uh, red in color once the complete reaction is done, it will uh, the uh, fumes it will turn white in color, and that is when you can turn on the uh, turn on the heater from here. Uh, uh, this was the light. Sorry, this this is the uh, it's already it was turned off, but you can turn it off then. And all, and and turn off the stirring uh, stirring as well. So once you see the white uh, once you see the white fumes, uh, uh, you turn on the uh, uh, turn this uh, around so that the you and put the pour uh, urea drop by drop uh, uh, so that the mixture gets cooled and once it's cooled you, uh, you can you can drop the urea uh, uh, all together uh, at one go and uh, while mixing uh, while adding urea you have to t uh, keep the uh, stirring the mi uh, mixture on uh, after you after the pouring of urea is done you turn off the stirrer by the last switch here then you fix this uh, once uh, the reaction is done you fix this uh, this pipe which is provided uh, to the uh, the center you connect uh, you connect once the urea is done and the mixture is done to the filter system which is in the middle yeah. uh, open this valve when the uh, when the once the urea process is done uh, as shown and, and and close and close this valve so uh, as, as you can see the mixture is getting uh, poured into the filter uh, into the filtration chamber As you can see, it is getting poured here. Gen Generally, the filter paper will be here, which will filter the gold. Uh, you, you put the uh, uh, filter paper here, and the uh, copper, silver, dust, everything will stay here. And the gold water, you will get, uh, get it at the bottom. The top portion separates from the bottom. The bottom is where the gold is uh, uh, refined. And the top portion you can take it out and do the other process to recover uh, silver and copper that you have got. You connect the pipe as shown here. Uh, to connect the pipe, 
uh, you pour uh, you pour the water out. This is where you put the gold filtration in, and the uh, water will be collected in the jar like this, which is provided.